and locals afraid for their lives in a dangerous smuggling corridor in the desert near Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. They can rest a bit easier tonight. A new sentinel is in place keeping a close eye on suspicious activity on that vast terrain. A brand new state-of-the-art Border Patrol station is ready to go. Alexis Fernandez takes us on a tour in tonight's Not On Your Side Border Watch. After seven years of planning and two years of construction, AHO officially opened its doors to their newest Border Patrol station in Y, Arizona, 30 miles from the border. A new facility like this has been a long time coming. Uh, they clearly deserve it. Uh, working out of such cramped quarters, if you will, in the other facility. The 54,000 square feet of space on 30 acres replaces the old Ajo Border Patrol station next door. This is where the agents enter from the parking lot. It has a common staff area, general area, and processing center for detainees. Resources, all designed to provide us with the capability to serve as a true 21st century law enforcement operation. Not to mention much needed space. The old Border Patrol station built back in 1987 could only hold 25 agents at a time. The new station can accommodate 500 agents and even more detainees. Right now, there are about 300 agents patrolling 64 miles of the border, a total area of 7,000 square miles. It's very remote, very arduous working conditions. They all offer no challenges. But most certainly, it's a personal sacrifice. The purpose of the new building is to provide border security in an area known for drug smuggling. Back in 2002, a park ranger from Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument was killed during a cross-border chase. The work environment out here is difficult. It's very challenging. Uh, the agents can, can uh, attest to that and so can their boots and their uniforms. Border Patrol agents say they hope their new and improved presence will help nearby communities feel safe. Alexis Fernandez, KGA 9, on your side. That new building also will use solar panels for 30% of its electricity. The total construction cost for that facility, $28.5 million. By the way, the old station is still standing, and we're told it will continue to serve some kind of a function.